Welcome back to another SOS bike review and today we're taking a closer look at the Kawasaki KLX 140G. In Kawasaki's line of entry-level trail riding bikes, the 140G comes with a 21-inch front wheel and 18-inch rear wheel which brings it pretty close to a full-size bike but because of its compact frame design it's still very easy for beginner riders or especially female riders to get their feet on the ground and have that level of comfort that you really need when you start riding off-road. So the KLX 140 comes with a 144cc air-cooled engine, a 5-speed gearbox and you're looking at an easy to handle electric start. So if you're new to off-road riding, it helps a lot if you don't have to kickstart your bike. So every time you stall the bike, especially in the beginning when you get used to using the clutch, uh, you will have a couple times where you stall the bike, push off a button, the bike fires back up. Um, air cooled so you don't have to deal with radiators you don't have to deal with the weight that comes with radiators which brings all the weight pretty much in the center of the bike making it really easy to handle and really planted if you go out on a trail that either gets rough with some rocks and, and rain ruts or just through bumps um, it's a bike that is really easy to handle So if we're looking at the chassis of the KLX 140G, we're looking at pretty much full-size foot pegs, which is nice because it gives you plenty of room to kind of put your feet and start to get into the habit of standing up um, without, you know, feeling like you're slipping off the pegs. This brake front and rear giving you plenty of power, especially when you're going down the hill. It's easy to get the bike stopped. It's easy to just control the bike uh, when you feel like you're going too fast, uh, which makes a big difference. And then last but not least, suspension, right? We have adjustable rear shock. We have a telescopic fork uh, that's also adjustable. So if you're a lighter rider, if you're a heavier rider, it gives you some options to set up the suspension to your liking. And again, make it a little bit easier for you when you're out trail riding. So if we look at the cockpit of the KLX 140, we pretty much have a full-size seat, um, pretty similar to any real big bike, uh, making it comfortable to riders of all sizes to find a spot to you know, really sit and get in position when you're out on the trail. The overall chassis is pretty narrow, as you can see, but still giving you enough meat to really lock in with your knees, hold on to the bike with your lower legs and find that control uh, when you're out on the trail. Further up, if we're looking at the clamps and the handlebar setup, uh, rubber mounted bars so you don't really feel the super harsh hits of uh, rocks or rocky trails and then handlebar really easy to adjust forward backward depending on your size um, it's really easy to find a bar setup that will make you feel comfortable another thing that we really want to focus on is the space you have between the foot pack and the handlebars. On some of these entry-level trail riding bikes, it's really easy, especially for taller riders, to feel a little trapped, feel a little cramped, and not really be able to control the bike. Myself, I'm six feet tall, and I find it really easy to ride this bike. There's plenty of room, especially here, uh, you know, to stand up, to ride standing up without feeling too hunched over. And the cockpit overall just gives you plenty of space to get in the right riding position, learn the right riding position, especially as a beginner rider. Last but not least, especially if you ride in California, you need a spark arrestor in most trail riding areas. Kawasaki makes it really easy with the KLX. It already comes with a spark arrestor, so you don't have to worry about it. This is it for this week's Sedlak Off-Road School Bike Review. If you're in the market for a new trail riding bike, if you want to get into off-road, trail riding, dirt biking, Kawasaki's KLX line is a great choice, especially the, the G with the bigger wheels. Makes it really easy to go trail riding. If it's rough, you don't really feel the trail. So if you're new to dirt biking, 
looking for a viable option, this is definitely the bike for you.